Hi everyone, let's begin. How we can calculate multicolarity? How, how we can find out multicolarity using e-views? And after that, what is the removal process? How we can remove this multicolarity if it is there in our regression equation? So how we can remove it? So first of all, we would understand multicolarity, how we can find out. You can see here, this is my file. There are some variables, FDI, exchange rate, GDP, inflation. And GDP is my, this is my dependent variable, FDI, ER, exchange rate, and inflation is my independent variable. So first of all, we would understand whether there is multicularity or not. I will go there simply, I will go there quick, estimate equation. And here is, I'm going to create equation. And my equation will be uh, GDP. Then this is the constant. Then I will take FDI. And further, I will take uh, inflation. And I will take CR. I will take inflation. You can see. FDI and we can select further and then we can take inflation. Inflation, yes, is here and further is exchange rate and ER. Then we can see least square method we are going to apply and my data is from 2000 to 2020 and simply we would press here is enter. Okay. After this pressing OK, you can see here, these are my results. And in this, these results, you can see here, probability value is 0 0.00. All are significant except inflation. Inflation is not significant because value is 0 0.0, is greater than 0 0.05. And ER also, yes, 0 0.61, that is also not significant. So FDI is significant. Now we will check whether there is any, um, I mean, first of all, how we have to find out multicularity through VIF. So we, through VIF, we can check it. Let me residual diagnostic. And here is we will go there and we can find out, sorry, stability diagnostic. coefficient diagnostic and uh, we will find out variance inflation factors and we will click here and after that you can see here these are my results results you can say vif value is except inflation that is 2.8 People are saying, statisticians are saying, if, I mean, some statisticians are saying, if the VIF value is equal to 1, that means though no multicularity. But if your value is greater than 5, so we can say, yes, of course, multicularity is there, but not, but above 5, it's severe. But some statisticians are saying, when VIF value is greater than 10, then only severity is there. Otherwise, that is acceptable below 10. So you can see here, inflation is VIF value is 2.8. That is below 5 as well as below 10. So we cannot say, yes, of course, there is multicularity, but it's not severe, it's very less. So that would be acceptable. But when we talk about FDI, that is multicularity, VIF value is 15 and ER value is 40. And that is severe because these are above 10. So how we are going to remove these multicularity? So let me understand this particular problem. Let me, yes, we are deleting this part. And after that, now we can see if there is multicularity is not there, then leave alone that model. There is no need to give any further treatment. If VIF is the VIF is greater than 10, then of course we have to apply some removal. Then here is what remove how we can remove this multicularity. Number one. 
sample size we can increase. Or number two, we can drop any variable. But this variable should not be focused variable or important variable. This variable might be that is extra variable you have taken into consideration. So what we will do again, I will go there quick. Group statistics, I mean, this one is the estimate equation. And uh, further also, we will write here GDP equal to GDP. Yeah, GDP. Then C coefficient space C. Further, we will write FDI inflation. Inflation and uh, that variable we will drop ER. And now again we will run the model. What we will do, we will run the model. Now you can see these are my values. Uh, FDI is now significant and inflation is not significant. And R squared value, okay, it's all right. Adjusted R squared value is also good. And finally, we will go to their coefficient diagnostic and variance inflation factor. And we are going to check. And now you can see here, our VIF value is, there is no multicollinearity. There is no multicollinearity. You can find out the result through this. So we have dropped one variable. This is the one bit. Another way, you can change the measure. Let's say FDI, we are taking into consideration FDI. Otherwise, we can incorporate another I mean, measure of the FDI we can change or we can increase our sample size also. Let's say FDI is 2000 to 2020. So you can start from 1991 or 1995. Sample size we can increase. Observations we can increase. Through this also, we can handle our VIF value. So now we can say in our model, there is no VIF. I mean, no multipolarity is there. So thank you. Keep watching.